crew. <laughs> Making videos is weird. What is up guys? So what is good demand? This is something that is personal to me and I've made public and it's kind of weird. It's really weird like sharing my ideas with people even with a camera, like talking to a camera is pretty weird. I'm usually behind the camera so now having it on me, yeah, that's pretty weird but what is Good Demand? Good Demand was something, I had this idea when I was in community college and it was from this video I watched where it said that we can bring the world together using the system we have already, which is capitalism. Basically, in that video it said that if we demand good things, if we demand things that are beneficial for us, renewable energy, healthy food, things that are gonna progress our lives and the environment in a positive way. We can start healing the planet through jobs, through buying stuff, basically the system we already have now. The problem with today's system is that we buy things that aren't good for us, A, pollute the environment and destroy literally everything around us. If we can demand those things, we can start creating a better world. Now, there's a lot of different speculations on capitalism versus socialism versus communism. One proponent that I see for capitalism, uh, I mean, it's a system that's already in place now, so that's a bonus on the direction we need to take ourselves. Capitalism ensues competition, good or bad, Michael Jordan, I love Michael Jordan, competitive. There's good that can come out of competition. And one of them is speed and progress. So if we could use capitalism's strengths, which is speed and progress, and demanding things that are beneficial for the, for the environment, we could literally put all our time and energy and speed and progress in making the world uh, a healthier for us and healthier for the environment. And that's where we need to go right now, is we need to really seriously put a foot down on past ways of living, old patterns of thinking too, like that eating organic food is fucking, is like weird and hipsters. Like, I get it, people don't know, right? So let's get fucking educated and let's learn these things. That way we can start making better decisions as a community. So, don't get too serious and <laughs> get people's panties in a bunch, you know what I'm saying? But these are the things that need to happen. We need to leverage capitalism that's already in place. We can transition into some other type of system, but right now that's what's in place and that's where we can make the most impact now. We can start planning for other stuff. You wanna start planning, start planning. But for now, this is what we have. If we can demand good things for the environment, good, things for our minds and bodies, if we can start demanding those things through capitalism for that speed and progress that capitalism ensues, then we could for sure, we could for sure start making great and abundant change. So that's my little spiel on what Good Demand is and where I got the name Good Demand is from a video I for sure will put in the link in the description. It'll be the first line there, you can scroll, click. That video describes this exact process with all like the little characters and stuff. So you wanna see it in a more conceptualized form, hit that, uh, hit that video. But besides that, Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, it's kind of like a personal thing for me, but I'm sharing with y'all. If you guys want to join the 36 subscribers that I already have, you want to be number 37, hit that subscribe button. And I welcome you to this journey of my life and good demand and things that I'll be doing. Hit the like button, because you know the algorithm, YouTube is like kind of trippy with their algorithms and Instagram with their algorithms. Like when do these apps start learning math? But anyways, thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. Bam.